it's the end of May, and we wanted to give you a little bit of a garden update. It's been about a month since we last did this, and it's amazing how quick things have grown. So we'll quick go through the garden, uh, try not to make it too too uh, long, but I'll just do a little bit of time here. So here we got, uh, I don't think these were up last time, but potatoes, these are really going crazy now. We just composted them, um, so they're pretty much done until we harvest. Underneath the, the roof cover is watermelon, so we do that to give them a little extra warmth. These two beds here aren't planted yet. These are going to be pumpkins. Um, so we don't have very many empty beds. Probably only, we probably only have half a dozen beds that aren't planted yet. Everything else is pretty much planted. We got potatoes. So the other bed, we had two rows on the bed. Here we just did one row. Just kind of comparing what does better. Here we have, have some arugula that I just kind of chopped out. There's some regrowing, but I just put sweet potatoes in the middle. And we got onions on the south side of the bed, and those onions will have time to form before the sweet potatoes go crazy. We have our last planting of spinach that we're harvesting right now, and onions as well. There's our garlic, which is just, I think, about to send out scapes. So this, this, these two beds here look really nice. And our purple martins are, are not liking us right now. We're invading their space. We've got our hedgerow, which is really filling in. Some nice strawberries. So we experimented with just throwing some strawberries in here, here in the wood chips, see how they do. Go put that back, Stevens. Um, and they actually look really nice. The plants are really healthy. The berries are really nice. So I think moving forward, I think we're gonna do more strawberries with wood chips. Not directly, obviously you got to let the wood chips break down, but as a mulch, we usually use straw, which can bring in a lot of weed seed and it can tend to not dry out very nice. But the wood chips, we don't have to, you can put it on, you won't have to rake it off because they're, they're coarse enough that light will get through and, and push the strawberries to grow underneath. And the wood chips, when they dry out, they stay dry and so you don't have a lot of fungal issues. Mm. So we'll see. I think there might be some ready right there. Here we have a raspberry hedgerow, which is really going crazy. We've had to cut it back a lot to keep it out of our potatoes. And here last time, your shadow. Last time these weren't coming up. And here we got 10 rows of potatoes and they're really starting to fill in. We actually had to deal with some frost too a couple weeks ago. And so we were able to get the potatoes through the frost just fine. And uh, they're really going crazy with this warm weather that we've been having. There's a lot of potatoes in here. There's 10 rows, but we actually, there's two rows in each bed, so there's really 20 rows here. We usually only do about 13 rows, but potatoes is one thing that we can't have enough of. And here's our strawberries that we're harvesting. So this is our early variety. This is this morning's harvest. It's a, it's a smaller variety. The berries aren't that big, but they're really sweet. The rest of the patch. So we'll see. We, we're, there's already we're seeing some thrip damage. Um, yeah, it's really dry. We're trying to irrigate, but we'll see how the later varieties turn out. And here we have our succession plantings of lettuce. We've got head lettuce and salad greens, and the middle here will be planted with our uh, strawberries for our new patch for next year. So it's actually going to be done in the next couple days. We're going to plant our strawberries. And here we have turnips. And then these, we have two of these beds here are going to be our second planting of cabbage and broccoli. And then the last bed will be um, just lettuce. And these, these all six beds here will be planted 
for strawberries. And here we have muskmelon underneath the row cover and more onions. And here we have our tomato hoop house, um, or cat tunnel. But we have beets that are ready to harvest, so we're gonna be harvesting them this week for orders. And the CSA next week will get beets and carrots. Carrots are looking nice. Here's our kale. Oh, nice. And these are all, so the edge of the beds are planted um, with either beets or carrots. And in the middle we have tomatoes. And the tomatoes, you can see, they don't mind it at all. So once you get down to the bottom, we actually had some frost damage on them, but they're coming out of it. And then the last bed here is kale, Swiss chard, and some beets to kind of fill in the last of the bed. So yeah, this hoop house is really turning into a jungle. We got more onions and our sugar snap peas and those peas so about the time when we start picking them we're gonna come through in the middle and plant potatoes that'll be our late planting of potatoes and the late planting is good because they will store better going through the winter so those for sure will be able to use for seed next year um, and just use throughout the winter and that's just another hedge. We have asparagus in there. We have some perennial flowers. And I filled in some of the gaps here, as you can see, with kale. <clears throat> so we do a lot of experimenting. Um, may not always be the best thing, because a lot of times it doesn't work out. But it actually looks like this kale is doing really well. And the asparagus, I mean, it, it doesn't really shade the soil very well. So I like to be able to utilize underneath, if, if possible, if, you're, if our soil is healthy enough and fertile enough. You can really grow crops with the asparagus. So we'll see how that turns out. So half the bed is about in kale. Then I have some cabbage and broccoli plants to fill in the rest. And here we got our small hoop house. We have our early potatoes, early white potatoes in here. And we have um, succession plantings of beets. The bottom is our latest planting. We got our earlier one up there, and then we have celery up at the top of that bed. <clears throat> Here we have these are zucchinis under there that are really starting to, to grow well. Checked them yesterday, I think. These were just put in like a week ago, maybe, so they're really starting to take off. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, wow. <laughs> and we have green onions here. Um, we got radishes and turnips. We have mini sweet peppers. And here, this bed here, we have. New potatoes for this year. They're they're a purple or blue variety. So about two thirds of this bed is planted to that, and then the rest will be carrots. And this bed here is going to be planted soon to carrots, um, and here is just succession planting of carrots. So once we get the ones harvested in the hoop house, we'll come out here and start harvesting these. And under here we have all of our cucumbers. So we got pickling cukes. So in another month, we'll probably you'll actually be able to see the plants. The plants will be big enough and they'll be starting to flower that we'll have to take those covers off. So in next month's video, it'll lot there'll be a lot more green. I mean now you see a lot more white with the real covers, but it'll no, just kind of be just, a carpet of green. They'll just grow grow through the um Oh, you think so? Yeah. And the reason why we cover them is for cucumber beetles. 
and yeah, they can get really bad. And, and if they attack the plants at a young stage, the plants will will die pretty quick. Sometimes they don't even make it to, to fruiting if, if they get attacked at a young stage. Well, probably not. Here we have our black raspberry hedge. So this is only the second year, so it's still filling in some, but compared to last year, it is it's getting it's filling in really nice. And these these hedgerows are just wood chips. Like we don't we don't add anything else except wood chips. And yeah, it looks rough. Watch out, stuff in here. So it looks really rough, but you know, once you start moving this and that stuff is gold. It's a little dry, but the plants are still finding moisture. The nice thing with wood chips is it holds in the moisture. Even if it looks dry, there's still usually moisture there the plants can draw from. And here we have our big hoop house. We have all of our peppers, our first plantings of lettuce at the top that we'll probably harvest and get out of here in the next couple weeks. Because we have peppers interplanted with the lettuce, but um, at some point the lettuce needs to go to make the, a lot of room for the peppers. We have our red potatoes here, and we have our hoop house strawberries there. Experiment, which is still going well. Um, yeah, the top variety definitely is doing better than the lower variety. So yeah, next year I think we plan to do more, and we're just going to do a jewel, which is the top variety. The jewel seem like are just a nice berry all around. You just plant in between those strawberries too? Yeah, and I just put uh, ginger and turmeric. So I had ginger and turmeric in our prop house. Um, I had it in there for a while and, and it's not really growing out of the ground yet, but it's at a stage where it's really swelling and starting to put off little like white shoots coming out of the tubers. And so these strawberries, when we're done harvesting them, I'm gonna go and just cut them out. And uh, yeah, that'll allow the, the ginger and turmeric to, to take off. So I think that's pretty much it. So there's always things that aren't going right. Um, strawberries look better this year than last year, but there's still issues that we're trying to work through. Just how can we do the strawberries in a way that um, is organic and we don't have to spray or, or fertilize or do anything and it's we've been doing strawberries for what eight years now nine years and the first couple of years were great but we ran into some issues and we're still seems like we're still just trying to work through those issues to to grow the plants in a way that's healthy and um, yeah provides a nice juicy berry for you so thanks for watching if you're watching us on YouTube please subscribe hit like if you like it, and we'll see you next month in the next update. Until next time, eat well, live well.